Eva trades. Only two days left till game day, and today you are watching the pregame and trading in the simulator. Let's go. And day trading is risky, so use a simulator if you can. Um, I am looking at the stocks today. Uh, welcome to Eva Trades, by the way, and I'm glad that I'm glad to have you here. Uh, there isn't much to look at today. We have Hook as the leading gapper. Five minutes to go till the market opens. I'll push play. This is the simulator. And yeah, so Hook is consolidating with a high of the move up here. And then we, you know, kind of gave back most of that, half, more than half, but made a nice little recovery for the top. We topped out around $1.84, then we pulled back down to $1.67, and then we topped out again here at $1.79. We got a double top up there, you know, high lows, high higher lows and lower highs. And finally we have a bear break, but no follow through. So I apologize if my voice is a little scratchy this morning. I think somebody might've given me the gift of virus, <laughs> maybe. So we're looking at a double bottom. Got some volume. This is the 15 minute time frame on hook. And we do have some volume coming in for the bears here. High volume candle over here also, but just before the reversal. Anyways, bears looking for this to be a lower high and going for a lower low to break this inside bar hourly pattern bearish. It is an equilibrium on the 15 minute time frame. So barring that, we're just going to wait and see if we can hold a dollar sixty-seven. This is a cheaper stock. I don't like trading the cheaper ones. ENSV over here, also a cheaper stock. And to boot, it has no volume. But this is it. I've got nothing on the high of day momentum scanner and nothing else on the gap scan that was worth looking at. Here are the gaps. The stocks gapping up. ENSV was one, so you had a A R K O W. This is the time here. Is it 6:25 in the morning? Um, which is five minutes before the market opens. So that's when I pull the stocks off the gap scan. And these two down here are really good floats, not gapping up very much, and no volume, while well, barely any volume. I think I'm hearing ghosts. <laughs> what is that? Hmm, no, somebody's got a motorcycle outside. They're ribbing it up. Kind of an odd hour to do that. Okay, so yeah, it is October 20th in the simulator. And boy, what a slow day this is. Let's see if we have anything to trade when the market opens which will be in two minutes. Meanwhile, take you down here with me on my bottom screen. I'm going to go ahead and set up my stop loss parameters. I look at my candle ranges. I'll go with four cents. It's going to put in my share size and my stop loss and my target. So today I'm not trading that I'm not I'm today my risk is back at $100. This is the simulator. So unlike yesterday and the day before when I was trading live how I dropped my share size way down to a tenth of what I would normally trade. Uh, today I'm back at $100. And I only did that because there's a difference in trading in the actual stock market and trading in a simulator. And I'm just trying to reaccustomed to that. So uh, we're in the final minute here before the market opens. 
still holding the support here of a dollar sixty seven. Bulls want to get over a dollar seventy nine. Five minutes pretty choppy on ENSB. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to trade ENSB. I really should just get rid of it. But who knows? We'll see what happens. I'll watch the high of day momentum scanner. If something pops up, well, we'll, you know, I'll add it. So let's see here. Spy. See what Spy is up to. On this day, it's trading sideways. On that hourly time frame. Anyways. So 10 seconds to go. Oh, that's odd. Oh. My, uh, my simulator froze up here. This is unusual. I think it's because I tried to load spy and that froze it up. So give me a second. Just got to Get the times lined up here at 629.52. Had to reset the time. It was still ticking away on the other computer, but not on this one. Okay, so I'm ready. I'm going to push play now. Okay, there we go. The clock is ticking. So I apologize if today's video is very boring. There just isn't much to look at here. All right, well, Hook is trying for the moment. Let's look at the 15 minute time frame. You can see here what we had the high, the move, low, the pullback, lower high. Bulls getting the higher low they wanted here because it's higher than that low. But they're going to want the follow through here too. They don't want to see this roll over and break $1.67. Let's get back to the five minute and the one minute. I can take a trade on it in 10 more seconds. If it holds up here, I might just do that. My stop loss is going to be a little tight. Ooh, I don't know. I'll try it. It didn't really hold up, but I'm trying it anyways. Yeah. Waiting to see if that's gonna if that's gonna be the bottom. I don't know. There's a struggle there for sure. I think the bears really want this price to go down. So getting stopped out down two hundred now. So now I'm going to wait because we broke, we broke that equilibrium bearish. Let's see if it's a fake breakout and we make a move back up towards the high. That could happen here. And I might want to jump back in it if it does. I'll, I'll take a starter on it there. And I'm going to add to it if we start to make a move. We have a high of day. Oh. I was in a little high anyway, so I'll try again. I can hit, I can hit a max loss of 500 on the day, and I'm okay with that. Trading below the VWAP, so that's a little tricky. I'm going to move my stop loss up because if this starts to go, I think what we're going to see is a break over $1.84. I'm going to add to it there. And what I don't want to see is an equilibrium. I want to see it break $1.76. Oh, 
but that could be the top right there. Now we might pull back, you know, get this uh, where we topped out at $1.76 and then the low. This could be a lower high. And then you pull back and get a higher low before the breakout. <laughs> One stock on the gaps on the hive day scanner K E Y. I want to add, but I'm not going to add to hook here. See if it pulls back first before I try to add. Huh? Okay, here we go. See if this is where it's going to go. So a new five minute candle now. So I would expect a pullback. Here it comes. I don't really want to buy it there. If I was going to buy it, I'd buy it when it pulls back a little further. I'm going to move my stop loss up there to the bottom. It's going to try to just break straight through. I am aware that there could be a false breakout there. Oh, that's, uh, that's a rough one. So selling off right there like that. Down 600 bucks, and that's going to do it for me. So it just wasn't, just wasn't going to happen today. That's all there was. I was looking for 500 today, and instead I lost 600. I... Uh, Got a, took an extra trade there that I probably shouldn't have. But yeah, the momentum's just not here today. Bears are in control right now and it could come, but uh, that's it for me. I've hit my max loss. I have to stop so that I don't have any of those great big red days. So this was the simulator. I am Josh and thanks for watching. And just be aware that you are going to have days like this and you have to learn how to cope with that and manage your risk. It's all about risk management. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time. Bye.